kick of the game from Neil Malpe, who's now in some uh, ugly scenes with Arsenal players because he was the man, remember, involved in the bad injury to Bert Leno and the Arsenal players now. And this is uh, no social distancing, is it? This is strictly outside the limits, but emotions and passions have taken over. It's too much for Arsenal to take that, and Mope, who was involved in the Leno incident, has come up with the winning goal at the end of it all to give Brighton three big points. They probably need to get Mope out of there, Martin. Without doubt, and he's uh, scored a massive goal, but he's, I think he's just gone to the ground, hasn't he? Somebody's it's been a coming together. Things the referees in danger of losing control here. Hopefully, it's all calming down. Obviously, a lot of feeling when Doozy now suddenly running back again. You just can see out, out of screen. They've got to keep their heads, the players. Well, it's a terrible start, restart, I should say, for Arsenal now. Two defeats. Mope is going to find himself at the centre of a lot of stories. But you know what? I don't think he's going to care too much in the end. He's come up with a winning goal for Arsenal. Frayed tempers, a lot of bad feeling. And, well, in the end, the result they really didn't need at all. For Brighton, a massive, massive win. They've done the double over Arsenal this season. Beaten them home and away for the first time in their history. Brighton and Hove Albion 2, Arsenal 1, amid some uh, pretty high and emotional scenes here on the south coast.